Think about the last time you were playing a challenging game. We're sure there were heated moments where you thought you'd succeed, but at the very last second you die and lose hours of progress. If you're looking for games where you can't die, then this video is for you. You'll never guess which insanely hard game makes it impossible to actually die. Before we start, be sure to like this video and subscribe to The Gamer to ensure you never miss a video. Get ready because today we're counting down 10 video games where you can't die. Everybody's Golf Let's start this list off with a new game we've been playing. Everybody's Golf was released on August 29th and is the seventh game in the series. If you've never heard of Everybody's Golf, well it was actually known as Hot Shots Golf in America before the newest release, so don't be alarmed. It's as simple as it sounds. You and everybody on the internet plays golf together. This game is perfect for people looking to avoid the pressures of life and death situations you see in most games today. In Everybody's Golf, you're whisked away to a magical place known as Golf Island Resort where you must play your way through the rankings to become the world's best golfer. You get to make your own character and a fairly robust character creator that allows you to play as yourself or anyone you can make. While progressing through Golf Island, you unlock more and more parts of the world, like for example fishing or driving race cars. You can compete with computer golfers, with friends, or anyone in the world. You can do a lot in everybody's golf, but the one thing you can't do is die. It's a nice relaxing game and perfect for this list. Bioshock Infinite Not every video game on this list is easy and relaxing like everybody's golf. There are a lot of video games where you might run out of health, but you don't technically die. The Bioshock series of games have done exactly that. The goal of the game developers was to give an explanation as to how your character could come back to life. Sometimes this challenge is solved by a simple answer. In the original Bioshock, when you take enough damage, you'd emerge out of a revitalization chamber and jump back into action. With Bioshock Infinite, it seemed the developers wanted to come up with a more interesting explanation for the invincible hero. Since one of the game's main themes involves time travel, this seemed like the perfect excuse. When Booker Dewitt is shot too much, it's implied in the game that two different dimensions come into existence. One where Booker lives and one where he dies. The player continues to play the game as the Booker who lives, so technically you'll never die in the game. If you're watching the video to find a more casual game, this next entry will be more your style. Hola! Did you hear about the latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem, come on over. This is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Check out the richest Espanol today! Animal Crossing New Leaf Maybe trying to be the world's best golfer is adding too much stress to your gaming time and you want something even more relaxing. If you've never played Animal Crossing, you're in for a treat. Nintendo's Animal Crossing series focuses on you moving into a town with a random assortment of villagers. The only real objective of the game is to make money to pay off debts and to decorate your home to your liking. You'll get to help out your neighbors with random tasks and just get to know them better. Neighbors might move away, but a new one will take their place. In the newest release, New Leaf, you can meet up to 335 unique villagers. Although these games are relaxing and there is no way to die, there are some creepy things that can happen. In the original GameCube game, you can visit another player's towns through their memory card. If you turn off the game while you're in the other village, your character will lose his face and everyone will be terrified of you. Even if you can't technically die, if you play the game after months of not touching it, the villagers will be worried sick about you. They don't outright say they thought you died, but they were definitely worried about you. A little too worried. Earthbound. With the release of the Super Nintendo Classic, gamers will once again get a chance to play one of Nintendo's strangest games, Earthbound. Not only is this an odd cult classic, but it's very rare as a copy of the game can cost you well over $150. This quirky game has you playing as Ness as he travels cities, deserts, and even time. The game has a strong emphasis on friendship and kids becoming adults. It also has moments featuring cults, talking seeds, and an evil circus tent. Such a wholesome journey meant for kids couldn't possibly have the hero die, but combat can be difficult. To make the game a little easier, the developers made it so that when you take damage, you don't lose all your health at once. With this, if you move through menus fast enough, you can still heal yourself. If you do end up reaching zero health, you get two options. You can get back up and continue the fight, or you can opt to quit the game. Quitting the game doesn't mean the hero has died. They actually imply the battle was just a bad dream. Unfortunately, your party members aren't as lucky. If they manage to run out of health, they will appear as ghosts who follow you till you go to a hospital to get them healed. Octodad, Deadliest Catch some of the best games with the least amount of pressure aren't the big $60 AAA releases. 
Games that are smaller in scope and made by a handful of people independently can be surprisingly relaxing. These games often experiment with what motivates a player beyond a character living or dying. A great example of this is Octodad Dadliest Catch. This was released on the PlayStation 4 and PC. In the game, you play as an octopus pretending to be a human father to his two kids and a husband to his wife. Yeah, it's as weird as it sounds. You'll go through normal daily routines like mowing the lawn, grocery shopping, and taking your kids to the aquarium. Your goal is to do these tasks without bringing too much attention to the fact that you are actually an octopus. It may sound simple, but the challenge comes from the game's controls. Each of Octodad's four tentacles is controlled separately. Struggling to move like a normal person will reveal your true identity. For such a goofy premise, the game actually has a lot of heart, and all you want is for your family to be happy. However, a crazy chef who knows you're an octopus continues to hunt you through the game and ruin your new lifestyle. Pokemon Snap we originally planned on including the Pokemon games on this list as technically your Pokemon just faint in a losing battle. However, in the original game when visiting Lavender Town, you can visit the Pokemon Tower. This tower houses the graves of Pokemon who have passed away. That being said, we still wanted to include a Pokemon game and remembered a game where they don't even battle. Who wouldn't want to go through different worlds where Pokemon like to hang out and just simply take pictures of them? That was the idea behind Pokemon Snap which was released for the Nintendo 64 in 1999. Very simply, this game is an on-rail shooter, but unlike games like House of the Dead or Time Crisis, your weapon is a camera instead of a gun. You go through seven different courses, each of which have their own unique Pokemon roaming about. Your photos each get a score based on how well they're framed, how many Pokemon are in the shot, or if something special is happening. If you love your photos, you could actually print them at Blockbuster. The game was a huge hit, and the sixth best-selling game of 1999. Braid what if before you died in a game, you had the option to reverse time and try again? We know Prince of Persia Sands of Time did this, but it was limited. We want to be able to change our mistakes as often as need be. Well, one of the first big indie games to be released on the Xbox 360 promised what we were hoping for. Braid came out in 2008 and was made by just two people. At first glance, it's a simple 2D side-scrolling platformer similar to a Mario game. The big twist comes when you make contact with an enemy or make a mistake. With the touch of a button, you can rewind back as far as you'd like to try again. At first, this feature is mostly used to keep the player from dying. But as the game goes on, rewinding becomes necessary for problem solving. Things get complicated very quickly. Although you'll never die, you might just give up though. Braid's creator Jonathan Blow appears to enjoy making games where the player can't die. He recently released The Witness on the PS4. It's another great game for people who don't want to be punished by a game over screen. Instead, you have hundreds of puzzles scattered on an island you can solve at your leisure. Viscera Cleanup Detail Since this is a video about games where you can't die, it's worth mentioning that most games expect you to shoot everything in sight and try not to die. Anything from Call of Duty to Dead Space has a very common theme which is kill or be killed. But have you ever thought about the mess left behind? I'm sure you don't. But if you take a second, it's probably a bit messier than your room, even on a bad day. In a game like Halo, who cleans the colony ships after the war's over? For better or for worse, developer RuneStorm have made a janitor simulator that has you clean up familiar scenes. Armed only with a mop and a bucket of water, you'll be wiping blood off the ground and disposing of bodies. This task might take you a while, and luckily the game is happy to give you all the time you need. Who knew cleaning the blood-soaked aftermath of an action scene could be so relaxing? If you had to be the janitor to clean up after a game, which do you think would be the most difficult? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Ghost Trick what type of person can never die no matter what happens? It's a bit of a trick question, no pun intended, but if you're already dead, you can't possibly die again. This is the idea behind the Nintendo DS puzzle game Ghost Trick. Developed by the same team who brought you the legal drama Phoenix Wright, which would also fit in on this list, Ghost Trick tasks you with solving your own murder. To find clues, you need to help people who are in danger of suffering the same fate as you. As a ghost, you can possess a wide variety of objects in a given area. For example, you can take the form of a bike to move forward and then possess a refrigerator which can be opened and give you a new item to interact with. These puzzles can be complicated, but accomplishing even the simplest tasks can feel very rewarding in this game. The story takes many twists and turns and is filled with interesting characters. If you no longer have a device to play DS games, then good news! You can download the game onto your iPhone and play it with the touchscreen and beautiful updated visuals. Dark Souls 2 
The final game on our list may be a total shock for some of you, but we swear it's the truth. In Dark Souls 2, one of the most challenging games ever made, you technically can't die. Now, if you fall off a ledge or crushed by a boss or are beaten by an invading player, the game will flash you died on the screen. Although you may have perished in that moment, according to the game's lore, your character never really dies. If you do meet this horrible fate, and let's face it, you will often, your knight will be reborn at the last bonfire you visited. Much like Ghost Trick, the hero in Dark Souls 2 is already dead, or as the game calls it, undead. You've been cursed to never die, and each time you fail, you become closer and closer to being hollow. A hollow is a zombie-like being with no memories or purpose, which is doomed to repeat its meaningless life and death cycle continuously. When you reach the end of the game, you get to choose between keeping this never-ending cycle going or ending it in the world as we know it. It's not an easy choice, but the latter is the only way to ensure anything can actually die. Did we mention your favorite game where you can't die? If we missed one you love, please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to The Gamer for new videos every day. Thanks for watching.